Hello there, Ray here, and I'm joined by Earth Computer, one of the project members. Hello. And today, guys, we would like to show you an OP glitched crossbow that you can obtain in your very own survival world. This glitch allows you to get something which is normally not possible in survival, which is a crossbow that has multi-shot with also piercing on it. And those two enchantments normally conflict and you cannot put them onto a single crossbow. On Exuma Boy's Let's Play episode on the Hermitcraft server, he came across a weird enchanted bow that had two piercing effects. Very similar to this one here, where it had a piercing one and also a piercing two on one crossbow. So we went ahead and tried to figure out exactly what was going on here. Why was the game producing a crossbow with two enchantments of the same type on a single item? In Earth Computer, I looked into it and we discovered exactly what is going on here. Now if you guys recall in the past we actually discovered a similar glitch in the game where you could actually get protection 8 armor in survival by using a trick where the game would actually apply enchantments to a mob twice and therefore having a chance of giving it protection 4 and then giving it protection 4 again and these protection would actually stack into protection 8. Now if you guys are curious exactly how that occurs and how you can get your very own set of that type of armor in survival, you guys can check out this video where we talk all about it, which will be linked down in the description. And it turns out the way that it works is very similar to the previous thing that we showed, but it's a little bit different. So Earth Computer went into the code and he looked into it, and he's going to explain what is occurring inside of the code. Alright, so first of all, the pillager um, spawns with a crossbow, and then there is a 1 in 300 chance of that crossbow... Um, having piercing one added to it. And now once that's happened, um, normal enchanting is applied on top of that. So as if the piercing one wasn't there, which means that it's possible to get um, piercing again on that or the um, conflicting multi-shot enchantment instead. So getting the simplest type of one of these glitched out crossbows, which is a piercing one with piercing one, is actually quite rare. It's one in 16,000 of killing a pillager. But getting the best variation, which is this right here, this is a multi-shot plus your piercing, which are the two conflicting enchantments they normally can't put on each other in survival, similar to like Silk Touch and Fortune. But you also have the Unbreaking 3 as well as the Quick Charge 1. And all these enchantments can be on a crossbow that comes from a pillager, since they can get enchantments similar to you putting a crossbow into an enchanting table with XP's level up to 22. So they can't get like enchantments like you can on your crossbow with level 30 putting it into the enchanting table. And the chance of getting this type of crossbow in survival is one in every 3.5 million pillagers. So for each pillager that spawns, it's got, if you um, kill it with looting three, then it's got an 11.5% chance of dropping its crossbow. And then um, given that it drops its crossbow, as we um, talked about earlier. It's got a 1 in 300 chance of having the piercing 1. It's also the um, the normal enchanting applied. That consists of it having a 1 in 4 chance of normal enchanting even happening. And even if that succeeds, um, there's you know not, not a 100% chance of getting um, multi-shot or the other piercing. So yeah, it's really unlikely to get this bow. Yeah, this also assumes that you have the uh, best um, local difficulty on the server. So like you've you've been in the chunk for um, a long time and the server's been running for like days. So if you guys did want to get one of these OP glitched out bows, you don't have to go for that one and three point million chance. You can actually get a little bit better just by avoiding some of these extra enchantments and going for just the important ones, which are piercing one as well as multi-shot. Then once you have obtained this bow, which is only one in 409,000 pillagers, then you can go ahead and take this to an anvil and add your books to it. So I got the bow as well as some books to put onto it. I can show you guys this can be done in survival. So if I go ahead and put multi-shot with piercing one, we can put any other books with it. So we can put like quick charge three with it. And now we got a bow that will recharge faster. We can also put mending with it. So it will automatically regain its durability with XP's. And we can also put unbreaking on it as well. So now we just obtained a crossbow that you normally can't get in survival that actually has conflicting enchantments and has more enchantments on it than you normally can get on a crossbow. Now you guys may be wondering if you can add a higher level of piercing onto it. So multi-shot only goes up to level 1, but piercing goes all the way up to level 4. So if we try to do that, you can see that there is no outcome actually. This is because you're trying to put a conflicting enchantment 
onto a crossbow. So it sees that you have multi-shot over here on your crossbow and sees you're trying to add piercing and it says this is a no-no so it's not going to allow you to do that. So you cannot increase the level of piercing that you have on this bow. And the highest that you can get is just that initial piercing one so you can't go any higher than that. Now if you guys want to you can also put the cursing books on it. It's like Curse of Vanishing can also be put on it as well as Curse of Binding. If you're just trying to see how many enchantments you can actually get on your crossbow. So you guys might be wondering why is this bow actually more overpowered than other crossbows that you can normally get in survival. This is because the multi-shot will actually shoot out three arrows at once where the piercing will allow you to go through multiple entities per arrow. So with those two combined, which you normally can't do, you can actually shoot multiple arrows that can go through multiple targets. So this is really useful in survival circumstances where you have a large amount of targets coming towards you. So if you egg rolled a lot of pigmen, they would try to be running towards you. And with the multi-shot as well as the piercing, you can shoot through multiple targets and you can hit multiple targets all at once while going through them as well. Right there you can see I hit a whole glob of them all at once. The quick charge allows you to recharge very quickly. So it shoots off three arrows and each of those arrows can go through two targets. So it allows you to really mow down large groups of like pigmen if you're able to stay ahead of them. And normally you'd have to choose between like multi-shot or piercing and most people would probably choose multi-shot but here you can have the multi-shot plus you can have the double piercing effect. The way that piercing works is it allows you to go through a number of entities and the number equals one plus the level of piercing. So with level one piercing we're actually able to go through two entities. So this is twice as good as just having your normal multi-shot. So for those of you who really want to get the best gear in Minecraft, you guys definitely have to go for one of these crossbows. Although it's not going to be easy as you're going to have to kill close to 400,000 pillagers. And these pillagers can be obtained from like a pillager outpost or like a raid or like the pillager patrols, which are just the patrols that will naturally spawn and then just start walking towards the villages. They all have this chance of dropping them. The ones that come from higher levels of raids actually do not have this chance of dropping them because essentially their crossbow gets swapped out with a different crossbow, which is kind of mandatory at higher levels of raids. So this effect only applies to pillagers. You can't do it to anything else like uh, vindicators. Um, however, with vindicators, they can, they do have a chance of spawning um, with an axe with sharpness during a raid, which you can't normally get sharpness through an enchanting table, so it's a bit special. Uh, you can get them through anvils, but not through enchanting tables. So when we first started testing this, we went ahead and Earth made a bunch of commands to summon in villagers and then give them 100% chance of dropping their bows, and then he went around and just removed all the bows that were not interesting to us. It's all the ones that weren't glitched out and then essentially we were left with a lot of more of the high-end enchanted bows and we just had a command that was putting them all into here to see if we could actually get one of the really nice ones which are the multi-shot plus the piercing. And he was running about 100 pillagers per second and it took quite a while to actually fill up both these double chests because you can see all the different types of enchantments they could give you but none of these are actually the multi-shot plus piercing since it is quite rare to get so you definitely want to have a fast pillager farm and probably one that's not a raid farm but you can get them from raids because if you get these from raids having higher bad omen will actually have a lower chance of getting these crossbows. But this is definitely one of those kind of glitched out items that we definitely have to acquire on the Protect SMP server. So as soon as we upgrade to 1.14 we're going to be trying to design some really fast pillager farms, maybe a fast raid farm, in order to try to get these extremely rare crossbows as we are still trying to obtain those Protection 8 helmets in survival. So that's definitely some really long-term goals that we are going to go for and this is one of those things that keeps the game interesting for me and why I continue to play vanilla survival Minecraft. If you guys happen to get a multi-shot plus piercing crossbow in survival, go ahead and message me an image of that on my Twitter. I'd love to see that. And if you guys like to mess around with this world and see all different types of crossbows that you can get, we will provide the world download down in the description, as well as Earth Computer's little command to put a banner on top of his head, similar to a patrol leader. And if you guys did find this video interesting, be sure to go ahead and show it with a like as well as share it with someone else. And if you guys do enjoy my channel with all the different types of tricks that you can discover in Minecraft, you'll also enjoy Earth Computer's channel where he also shows some more tactical types of stuff that he discovers while looking through the code. And you can find his link down below as well. And if you enjoy learning about different types of glitches that are inside of Minecraft, I do have an entire playlist that is just about this. And as always, we'd like to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye Let's crack the RNG. Done. What? Did you use <laughs> the enchanting table? No. How did you do it? 
I 